Hi everyone, my name is Sundi and I'm from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology studying chemical and environmental engineering. In this opportunity, I would like to highlight an online technical seminar that I attended this year with the title Smart, Green and Low Carbon Measures to be Adopted in Tongchung New Town Extension. This seminar was organized by the Civil Division of HKIE on Wednesday, 22nd of July, 2020 with the speakers Mr. Eddie Lam, Mr. Phoebe Tang, and Mr. Brian Ho. With the government's smart city blueprint going side by side with sustainable land title blueprint, Hong Kong is embracing a rapid development by leveraging information and technology and taking a step further towards a smart city, starting from Tongchung Newtown Extension with its three main aspects, smart mobility, smart environment, and smart living. There are great proposed measures that aim to take Hong Kong towards a stronger economy and a higher quality of living. I'm particularly interested in the ideas mentioned under the smart environment aspect, which aims to promote the concept of green living and sustainable development by optimizing the infrastructure facilities. In this seminar, I got the chance to learn more about sustainable urban drainage system, which transforms the conventional drainage system into one that has a great potential to prevent floods, while also providing additional supply of underground water and reducing the impact of surface runoff on drainage systems. Other than that, there's also a district cooling system, or DCS, in which chilled water is produced from seawater and then distributed to consumers for their cooling. This system is 35% more efficient than the usual air-cooled AC systems and 20% more efficient than water-cooled AC systems, which uses cooling towers. I also got to know more about eco-shorelines that aim to provide suitable habitat for marine ecosystems, using environmental factors as their design considerations and constraints. The next one that caught my interest was the Water Intelligent System, or the Wind System. Utilizing technology such as sensor systems and monitors, the data can be collected and used to assess situations and take appropriate measures accordingly. There are also other equally great measures to be taken, such as the automatic meter reading system for town gas, electricity supply and water supply, electric vehicle charging facilities, and the constructions of Tongchung East Open Space and River Park. For me, the words smart, green, and low carbon measures are very enticing. And it's always very interesting to see how sustainability is being put more and more into practice in our daily lives. In this ever-changing world, we must be aware how environmental issues and crises like climate change are emerging in the worldwide community. And it's time for us to take action and make a change. And living in the 21st century, Technology is on our side. It's really awesome how all of these areas mentioned in the blueprint and also in the seminar starts with the word smart. This truly shows how rapid technology has been growing, expanding, and giving us a positive push to move forward towards a better world. Seeing all of these amazing ideas always has me reflecting on how as engineers, we can change the world for the better by taking one step at a time. Combining their knowledge and resources, different areas of engineering can work together to achieve a common goal and eventually bring a positive impact to the society. As an unfortunate result of the COVID-19 outbreak, most of the activities hosted by the HKI's various divisions have been conducted online. Our near future is uncertain and the life we live is evolving into a new normal. Hopefully, the situation will get better soon, not just in Hong Kong, but all over the globe. And the events and activities can return to face-to-face -face mode. Over the course of the next year, as the student member of HKIE, I hope to be more involved in the events held by HKIE so as to be able to delve deeper into the world of engineering and understand the important role that engineers play in the society. With that said, I'd like to thank HKIE for the wonderful opportunity and also thank you for taking the time to watch my video.